Also, making them small chunks means it gets the subtitles faster. So, false cause. A came before B, therefore A caused B. So this one is a very classic example. People eat more ice cream during the summer and more murders occur during the summer. Therefore, eating ice cream causes people to become murderers. Mm -hmm. Now, hopefully that sounds ridiculous to you, but this is how false cause should sound after a while. Like just because something happened before another doesn't mean that the first thing caused the second thing. Um, some people, like fancy term for it uh, is mistaking correlation for causation. Correlation means they happened in a sequence. That doesn't mean it's a causal sequence. And then we have hasty generalization. A and B are linked one or a few times. So A must cause B or B must cause A. So two things happen at the same time. They must be linked. So pulled this one off the internet. Children of faculty are brats. I babysit for one of my professors and his children are spoiled and demanding. There's a whole lot more things that can make kids spoiled and demanding. You could say I babysit for my own child and she's spoiled and demanding and my roommates would agree with this. But here it's one example and they jump to everybody who fits that category must be this thing. Sometimes what you say may be true, but you can't make that claim just based on a few examples. Even like surveying a whole math department at Texas State about something and then claiming all math professors from that. You just determined the math professors at Texas State believe the thing, not it's true for everyone. Oh, limited choice. My daughter loves this one. She's almost six. P is false. Therefore, only Q can be true. Either give me my tablet or I'm never going to talk to you again. She says that very loudly. Or stop talking to me or I'm just going to scream. That's not the way things work. Then we have the red herring, which I read. And interesting where the word comes from, I think, in the book. So that was kind of fun. So P is related to Q. And I have an argument concerning Q. Therefore, what I said about P must be true. So this literally happened. I was talking to my dad, complaining about how difficult it is to pay for college, how much college costs. And he said, well, I managed to pay for college by working a summer job. He worked in a cheese plant. So I don't know why you're complaining. Like literally he was like, you should be able to work a summer job and then pay for school. We had to have a discussion about how much school costs now versus then, how much money he made then versus I make now. He still didn't. Yeah. <sighs> Boomers. Straw man. I have an argument concerning a distorted version of P. Therefore, I hope you are fooled into concluding that I have an argument concerning the real version of P. So, Kit says people should be nice to newcomers in class, and Russell says he can't believe Kit likes people she barely knows more than her friends of years. So, she was just saying we should be nice to new people, and he takes that to mean, oh, well, then she likes these new people more than everyone else. Coincidentally, Russell's the name of my ex. So if your name is Russell, I apologize now. I'm, I'm not going to like the name. I'll like you, just not the name. All right, next video.